why I stay here. Well, blow me down. <laughs> RAF Corfman and Top Secret Air Ministry Research Station, June 3rd, 1940. Prime Minister. Wing Commander, I trust you have good news for me. I hope so, sir. If you'll follow me, you'll be aware, sir, that we've been putting out the story that our fighter pilots are on a strict diet of carrots, and the resultant vitamin A boost is improving their eyesight and allowing them to see in the dark. Yes, rather childish nonsense, isn't it? Of course. And are the Germans falling for it? No, sir. No, we, we think that they have discovered that this is merely a cover for Mr. Watson Watts' experiments with electromagnetic waves, the so-called radar system. Indeed. And are they falling for that? Well, sir, as far as we can tell, we think they are. Excellent. Whereas the truth is... The truth, sir, lies behind these doors. <laughs> ah, a room full of cats, just as I thought. <laughs> as you thought, sir. What other explanation could there be? Suddenly our crews can inexplicably see in the dark. To the thinking man, there is but one explanation. Clearly you are training cats as navigators. <laughs> You're a great man, sir, and we're lucky to have you. <laughs> yes, sir, we are. After all, we have long used dogs in the military. Cats are not only far more intelligent, but have exceptionally good night sight. Let us give you a demonstration. Jovis? Uh, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Bring me Flight Navigation Officer Sooty. Right away, sir. <laughs> Here he is, sir. Meow. <laughs> Put him through his paces, Jervis. Yes, sir. All right, Sooty. Don't let me down, old chap. Church with a spire. Meow. Church with a steeple. Meow. Well done. May I? Uh, please. Bridal path permitted for public use. Meow. 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 <laughs> the Krupp Munitions Factory in the Essen. <sighs> well... Can't he do that? That's what we need. Well, he can, sir, yeah, but... this is the one drawback, sir. We're used to working with dogs, of course. And dogs love us and want us to do well. Cats are indifferent to us and don't care if we die. <laughs> so we have to keep a constant reward system in operation. Chilvers, rub the navigation officer's tummy. Yes, sir. But this is ludicrous, man. We can't have our pilots breaking off a dogfight every ten minutes to rub the navigator's tum-tum. <laughs> Uh, actually, Prime Minister, uh, we're not calling them dogfights anymore. <laughs> and, and it does seem to be paying off, sir. And so tomorrow night, Prime Minister, we would like, for the first time, to send a Spitfire squadron into action against the enemy, navigated entirely by cats. Do we have your permission, sir? I suppose so. What do you call this method, by the way? Feline navigation system, sir. Or for short, catnav. <laughs> This week, I'm talking to Andrew Wilson, Professor of Biogenetics at the University of York. All right, chaps, let's take the old crate up for a spin, see if we can't bag ourselves a jerry. Ready, Archie? As I'll ever be, sir. Ready, Lofty? Yes, sir. Ready, Mr. Pickles? Meow. Then tally-ho. Right, turn on the cat now. Mr. Pickles, where to? Meow. Left it is, tally-ho. So you see, sir, it all started terribly well. So what the hell went wrong? Well, as, as far as we can tell, sir, the cats didn't realise they were going to be shot at. Ah. Yes, it seems that came as a surprise to them. And, well, sir, have you ever squirted a cat with water? I have, Wing Commander. It didn't like it, not one bit. No, sir. Well, it seems they like it even less with bullets, sir. <laughs> And so we now have Spitfires landed in trees and garage roofs all over Switzerland. Gee, guards, the whole squadron. Yes, sir. Well, except for one that didn't even get as far as Germany and is currently following a mackerel trawler around the North Sea. <laughs> and what the hell are you planning to do about this? Well, we think we can recover the plane, sir. And then one of our lady boffins has a plan. You have lady boffins? Lovely lady boffins, sir. <laughs> lady boffin, step in here, please. Good morning, Prime Minister. Ah! I thought you said you had lovely Lady Boffins. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, Lady Boffin, take off your glasses. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> this is my plan, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, Lady Boffin, glasses back on, please. Oh! <laughs> yes, what have you done about these damn scaredy cats? A two-pronged strategy, sir. Firstly, we've modified the flight controls and trained the cats to actually fly the planes as well. Mm. That way we need never risk another human life in the air. But damn it, if they're alone in the aircraft, surely they'll just fly off somewhere safe and comfortable. Nowhere near the Germans. Hence my second prong. 
I suddenly realized, sir, that the cats simply saw all humans as the same. They had no idea of the ghastly fight we're in. So I put them through a series of films and lectures outlining in simple cat comprehensible language the nature of the Nazi menace. And the cats were appalled, sir. Lady Boffin was quite right. They had had no idea what they were fighting against. They're all lined up outside now, sir, ready and eager for the fray. Oh, you now want me to let you launch a squadron of Spitfires navigated and piloted solely by cats, yes? Yes. Yes. Well, why not? After all, I am very drunk. (laughs) Well, Wing Commander. Uh, not great news, sir. Let me guess. Despite your high-minded lectures, the moment they got in the air, the cats all flew straight off to hide in the Bahamas. Uh, no, sir. No, it's worse than that, sir. They defected to the Germans. What? (laughs) Yes, sir. You see, it turns out that the Nazi message of territorial expansion, cruelty, and the triumph of the strong over the weak, that's pretty much the philosophy of cats as a species. (laughs) They were rather cross they'd been fighting against it. You're telling me... Cats are Nazis. It does look that way, sir, yes. So, not only do the Germans have our cat technology, they also have a squadron of our Spitfires piloted by our cats, ranged up against us. I'm afraid so, sir. Sorry, sir. But all is not lost. We've been talking to the Navy, sir, and we've developed a rather exciting countermeasure. First, we fill a submarine full of owls. I love it! (laughs) 